Okay, Chairman, we are now live. Okay, well, welcome everybody. Uh, welcome to the meeting of the Housing Supervisory Board. I'm Councillor Mark Jones, Chairman of the Board, or Chair of the Board. I'm, a, I'm obliged to inform you that this meeting is being live streamed and recorded. Members of the public will be able to hear the audio of the meeting and view the papers shown on the screen. This meeting is being held using remote technology and should any committee member experience technical difficulties during the meeting, you should immediately contact the designated IT officer on the number they've already been supplied with. Everyone is requested to mute your microphones unless asked to speak. Please only use the chat function to indicate the desire to speak. Do not use it for anything else so that it is clear who is asking to speak. The almost listening to the audio feed. As chair, I will interpret the council's existing standing orders in light of the requirements of remote participation with advice from the monitoring officer prior to making a ruling. At the start of the meeting, I will ask members of the committee to confirm their presence and any disclosable pecuniary interest they have on any of the items on the agenda. I will ask everyone that speaks during the meeting, including members of the committee and officers to introduce themselves each time before they speak. This is so those listening know who is speaking. I shall now turn to the items on the agenda. OK, uh, item one is apologies and substitutions. Shelley. Um, yes, there have been apologies received from Councillor Pauline D, Councillor Rob Gittins and uh, Councillor Peggy Mullock will be substituting for Rob Gittins and also apologies from Councillor Keith Roberts. OK, thank you very much. I also um, wanted to inform you that uh, Vince Hunt has, has resigned from the board. Um, he did that about a month ago, but he was still included on today's meeting notes. Um, so I need to um, read out all your names and ask whether you're present. So I've got first of all, I got Peggy Mullock. Present. I've got um, Vice Chairman Simon Jones. Present Chairman and no pecuniary interest. OK, thank you for that, Simon. Heather Kidd. Present and <coughs> no pecuniary interest and I will not be here for the entire meeting. OK, thank you. Is Cecilia Motley with us? Doesn't look like it, does it? You can't see a Shelley anywhere? Uh, no, Chairman, I can't see her listed as being present. OK, uh, Tony Parsons. Uh, present and no pecuniary interests. And last but not least, Keith Roberts, is he with us? No, Chairman, apologies received from OK, Keith so I didn't scrub him out. OK, thank you. OK, moving on now, I move that the minutes of the Housing Supervisory Board meeting held on the 11th of February 2021 as circulated with the agenda papers be signed as a correct record. Can I have a second, please? Happy, uh, happy to second. That's uh, Councillor Simon Jones. Thank you, Simon. OK, we'll move on to item four, which is public question times. I don't think any um, questions have been received of the Shelley. None have come lately. No, no, no public questions have been received. Excellent. Um, item five is member question time, and that's the same, isn't it, Shelley? Yes, no member questions have been received either. OK, so now a bit more exciting. We've got item six, the Canovi Development Limited update report. And Jane, would you like to, oh, well, can the Assistant Director of Homes and Com Communities present the item, please, Jane? <laughs> yes, I can indeed. Thank you very much, Chair. Appreciate it. Um, so um, 
Uh, this is an update on the company's progress since uh, the last board meeting in February. Um, and uh, it really picks up on uh, the fact that uh, CDL's progress against its business plan is satisfactory and it has been growing its professional team and bringing forward delivery of new homes, uh, doing the work that we would expect it to do. Um, so it's a positive report. Um, in terms of recruitment, uh, Cornovi has now recruited a senior commercial accountant. Um, this has taken a little while to achieve, but um, I'm very pleased with that appointment and it's a critical one for the organisation. Um, in line with the other Cornovi um, employees, this is actually a post holder recruited th uh, through Shropshire Council um, and then contracted into uh, Cornovi through the finance contract. Um, uh, CDL is uh, at the moment recruiting a company business support assistant um, and they will be helping with company administration, uh, which is a significant work area as well and important for um, just uh, holding together all of the activities that the company um, has to report on and manage with its board. Uh, members, I hope, will have um, uh, that may not have attended the virtual tour, having had one specifically for the Housing Supervisory Board before, but the tour that was held on the 12th of March was well attended um, and we have had some good feedback um, from that. Um, obviously a virtual tour on this occasion, but um, given the interest that was um, expressed in it, there is an intention now to um, have an annual event of some description, hopefully actually visiting sites, uh, possibly not all of the sites, but uh, um, as in, you know, across the county might be a big stretch, but certainly um, to get out and about and uh, introduce people to Cornovi's uh, delivery on the ground. Um, the annual Housing Supervisory Board and CDL Board Away Day um, is scheduled to take place on the 22nd of September, and that will be at Theatre 7. Um, that's um, uh, based on the assumption that we will be in a position to, to meet up in uh, an indoor space at that point with social distancing measures. Uh, hopefully that can go ahead as planned, otherwise it would be a virtual event. Um, moving on to the sites themselves, um, the main construction contract um, has now been finalised and signed and that's with Morris Property as the, the lead uh, contractor for uh, CDL at the Frith, which is the former Cromore House site. Um, demolition there has now completed, uh, works are underway. Um, I won't go through those in detail, but um, it's it's all in progress across the plots on that site um, with the ex expectation that the first homes will be available in early autumn of this year and the opening of the show home will be at that time as well, um, with the projected completion date for the whole of that development being May 2022. Um, the uh, help to buy funding for the Frith has been approved by Homes England, which is critical in terms of uh, marketing and sales, especially to that um, uh, market that CDL has specifically been set up to, to meet, which is um, that uh, entry level um, purchase uh, purchaser, um, uh, so households who are not uh, uh, e economically able to uh, uh, go for the executive homes that perhaps other developers might be building out across Shropshire. So help to buy funding is really important to be able to get people onto the um, the uh, property ladder here in, in Shropshire. So this is a really important step to take. Sales interest very strong at the Frith and uh, draw attention to the company's new website if people have not had a chance to have a look at that yet. Um, and there has been increased social media activity as well, which is important in the lead up to uh, marketing and sales. Um, drawing your attention as well to the fact that um, CDL has been active in terms of its uh, commitments to social value and what a couple of examples of this at the Frith have been um, working with the Belvedere Primary School running um, a competition to name the roads in the Frith, um, part of people feeling uh, locally a sense of ownership about that development and being interested to see what's going on and having young people engaged and interested in it. Um, CDL is also sponsoring a what's known as virtual school at the Frith and this involves both CDL and Morris Property um, actually spending time with young people, um, uh, providing them with personalised support sessions so that they can understand what opportunities for careers there may be um, uh, in um, uh, construction, um, in sales, in a number of areas um, that uh, work across um, CDL's activities. So this is a real opportunity uh, for young people. So that's the report in respect of um, the update um, on CDL's activities, Chair. Excellent, excellent. I presume our um, esteemed colleague uh, Harpre doesn't get any pictures of the free site that we can have a look at, or is that beyond his remit today? 
I don't think we've got any of those uh, planned to show you just yet, but we can certainly okay. circulate some afterwards. Uh, yeah, it's on the call, but I'm sure we can get something out to you just to show the state of progress. Um, if yeah. That would be interesting. Yeah, I think that I think that would be good. It just uh, makes us know what's going on. Um, would any members like to make any comments? I can't see everybody, so um, Shelley will guide me if there is. Um, so there doesn't seem to be any comments. Mark, um, Barrett, no, did you there's, want... no, there's no questions I can see in the chat. OK, thank you very much. No, I, I, it, Councillor Jones here, I was just going to make the comment that um, it's good to see that the actual uh, progress that has already started on the site and that the demolition is completed and you're already pouring foundations. That's really good news. Uh, very pleased with the uh, progress that's being made. Excellent, thank you, Simon. Um, if there's no more speakers, the recommendation at the Housing Supervisory Board of North to Canorvi Developments Limited update report. Um, can I have a proposal and a seconder, please? I'll propose, uh, get Councillor Jones, I'll propose that we uh, note the report. Thank you, Councillor Jones. Uh, I'll second that to uh, Councillor Tony Parsons. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Parsons. I will now accept the recommendations in, in the report unless anyone else indicates differently. And I don't think there's a vote required if the recommendation is accepted. So I presume we all accept that report. Um, so item seven is the exclusion of the press and the public. So I move that in accordance with the provisions of the Schedule 12A Lo Local Government Act 1972, paragraph 10.4 in brackets three, of the Council's access to information procedure rules, the public and press be excluded from the consider the rest of the meeting. Please, can I have a proposal and a seconder, please? Yeah, Councillor Jones, I'm happy to propose. Thank you. And seconder. Again, I'll second that, Councillor Tony Parsons. Excellent. You're making a grand double act for me. Thank you. Um, so, Shelley, can you exclude everyone from the meeting, please? Yes, I'll end the session now and I'll confirm when that's done. Okay. 